I, th I think it's a it's a hard question. I think you know it, it is true that factory farming is a horror show, and it's, it is I think indefensible. Is true I think with many moral changes in society that that are brought to scale that will actually matter. I think what we need are system wide changes more than we need individual changes in choice. Now this is you might think this would just be accomplished very easily if we could just convince 7 billion people to be vegetarian and gave them the right supplements or protein powders or, or created an agricultural system that was optimized to getting everyone what they needed. But I think in this case, there'll be other aspects of the solution. And one person I had on my podcast was um, Uma Valetti, the, this cardiologist who has now started this company called Memphis Meats, which is a it's essentially a tech startup, but it's a it's a, a clean meat technology where actual meat is being synthesized in in vats, and uh, that is you know, I think now Bill Gates has invested in it, and this is this is something that they're going to attempt to to bring to some kind of scale. That's obviously not a vegan solution, but it's a solution that takes animal suffering completely out of the equation, and I, I think that is yeah, I'm, I'm very hopeful that that will be part of this solution. But yeah, the, uh, you know, the, the details of an abattoir are very difficult to defend. I, ha I have less of a, a strong feeling about hunters doing what they do. I think that's certainly more defensible than going to McDonald's. But again, but as far as, the, as, far as it being straightforwardly easy to be healthy as a vegetarian or, e or even worse or harder, healthy as a vegan, I'm not convinced that that's true for everybody, and I've, I have really struggled with that. I was a, a, a vegetarian, a pure vegetarian, for six years at one point and became anemic. I recently did it again for a year, and my blood values went haywire. So then I, I, then I, I ate some fish for another year after that, but I don't really like fish. I was eating kind of medicinal fish and <laughs> unhappily. And, so, and that didn't change things all that much, and, and I'm sorry to say that in the last two or three months, I've started eating meat, and honestly, <laughs> I feel better, right? So now this could be the placebo effect, uh, but I'm totally sympathetic with the, the ethical problem of doing it, and I try to do it in, in the most whole foody sort of way, but I, I realize that's not going to appease the, the vegan in you, but it, it's something that I'm struggling with, and it's, you know, I, I think there will be a solution that could be brought to scale at some point to, to make this easy and, and workable for everybody. Can, so. I, can I get in on that one? Yeah. Um, there's a way in which I think this question is, it, it results from a conflation of two issues. Factory farming is indefensible, and the suffering of farm animals uh, is appalling. And meat is also a way that, or a way of feeding ourselves that spends the resources of the planet very quickly and is indefensible at a, an environmental level. But neither of those problems is unsolvable. And the issue of whether or not it is okay to eat animals seems to me that we get it wrong. That in fact, farm animals have a long-standing partnership, a mutualism with human beings, and it's a good deal for them if they are raised in conditions that are not inhumane. It's hard for us to wrap our minds around that because the idea of suddenly being slaughtered one day for meat isn't a very pleasant one, but from the point of view of, let's say, a chicken compared to the jungle fowl that it evolved from, there are far more chickens on Earth today than there ever were jungle fowl, and they've been with us. They will be with us long after the jungle fowl has been um, driven extinct by habitat loss. And so thinking about these creatures as our partners and recognizing that we have an obligation not to treat them in ways that make them suffer seems to me the right answer to that problem. And then there's a question of how much meat is the right amount um, with respect to the sustainability issue. But I don't think our obligation to farm animals is to drive them extinct by not eating them anymore. Mm. Well, and to, just to, to add one point to that is that becomes, ethically, that would in fact be the right answer if farm animals had net positive lives. So, so, so if, if, if the life of a cow on a farm was a life worth living, if it was better, if it was better than non-existence, right? So again, because you're talking about phasing out billions upon billions of creatures if we no longer eat them. So if it were, in fact, better to exist as a cow and then die in this way at some point, 
and granted it's, it does not seem to be the case at all now, then that would be an argument for it. Our intuitions could go in different ways on that. 